I mean, the whole thing was just so crazy for me. I didn't expect to be at the Olympics at the beginning of my season. I didn't expect really, I didn't know what I expected. I just wanted to go out and do my best. And I knew I was going to have some more opportunities um, during the fall last year to go out and compete internationally. But where it put me is not what I expected. <laughs> what did you learn? Um, I learned that anything can happen, which, I mean, everyone already knows that, but it really is so true that you don't know um, what's going to happen when you go to a competition. You can train as much as you want, and something could go wrong, or something could go so right, <laughs> and that's what it did for me, and I, I knew I had been training the way that I wanted to compete, but obviously you still get nervous, but I put out what I wanted to do. Been working on since? Um, just consistency for me because I, now that I have all of my triples I and combinations and whatnot, I just need to work on the consistency because, and especially for me, I haven't been out um, to compete internationally a ton at all. So that's that whole scene is still new to me, and I just need to make sure that I can go out comf confident and comfortable and know what I'm doing. How important was that Olympic experience for your confidence and, and moving forward in your career? Um, I think the Olympics for me, obviously I didn't skate. I, I, you know what, I skated, I felt pretty good about it, but I wish I could have done my long. But the way that I skated, I was so um, comfortable on the ice at the Olympics, which was so weird to me. I had the time of my life competing my shirt program despite a fall. And I had, it was just so much fun. And I want competing everywhere to be like that for me. And it just, I just wanted to do it over and over again. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your programs for this season. Um, yeah, so my shirt program is to Bang Bang by Asaf Avedan. Um, it's such a unique piece of music. It's very different. Um, I don't even honestly know how to describe it to you. <laughs> um, but, and then my long is The Sound of Silence by uh, Cinematic Pop featuring McKenna Breinholt. It's sung by a female instead of the male version. And I'm really excited for that one too because it's a piece of music that I've loved for a super long time. And it's sort of different for me as well. It's, it's um, not, I don't want to say slower or quieter, but I, it's just a different kind of feeling for me. Who did the choreography and who found the music? And the um, Mark Pillay for okay. both. I actually went into my the day I was supposed to start my short program for, or short program choreography. We were gonna we were starting with a Spanish piece of music, and then I get to the rink and he's like, "No, no, no! I found something else. It's totally different. <laughs> we're changing it. We're not doing that anymore." And I'm like, "Okay, add whatever you want." <laughs>